said, you know what, I'm going to come home and I'm going to play for Norm Parrish for that one year in the RMAC, and I'm going to have some fun. And he always seems to have a couple of those guys, too. So it's a very tough outfit the Thunderwolves will be up against here tonight. Plus, you're dealing with guys with uh, Westminster. You're dealing with a team from Utah. Uh, you're dealing with kids that uh, some of them have been on their mission. When they come back, they're two years older, two years more mature. I mean, they're just tougher. And we made the comparison earlier. It's like playing the City League that first time when you're, you're in college. You think, oh, I'm going to go play the City League. And then you're playing a bunch of kids. 24 and 25 year olds and it gets to be tough so that's what the Thunderwolves are up against and plus the young Thunderwolves are a very young ball club as well they brought in some freshmen to this club I think down the line I've talked about some of Sean Cooper's guys and we have not seen anybody like him on this campus I mean he grows into that body and keeps the, his game just from the first game to the third game improves so much and he's tough and the other freshman I really love is Christian Hurdle and of course uh, Leon Romero as well on the outside. Well, we about talked all we can here to get this uh, game underway here. We're going to take one more final time out. I'm going to take a walk over that way. There's a door down there I have to go through. I'm going to be back in about three minutes. We'll have the game for you. It all comes your way next on Fox Sports Pueblo. And welcome back to Basari Arena. Thanks, Benny, if you were playing a little music there covering for me. Oh, I had to race and, you know, do my thing. All right, here's the starting lineups for tonight's ball game. I'm going to dim the lights here. And uh, as they say, I can't see anything. So we'll do it this way. Here we go, the starting lineups for the Westminster Griffins will go this way. Taylor Miller is a six foot two junior out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Five and a half points, four rebounds a game. Isaiah Banks, six foot three junior out of Las Vegas, thirteen points, four rebounds a game. Remy Torbert, he's a six foot two junior out of Southfield, Michigan, ten points, four and a half rebounds a game. Brandon Willardson, six foot eight senior out of Richfield, Utah, five points, three and a half rebounds a game. And Joey Andrews, six foot five junior out of Bluffdale, Utah. 13 and a half points, 10 rebounds a game. Head coach Norm Parrish. For the Thunderbolts, they'll go this way. At guard, it'll be Trey Brown. He's a six foot two junior out of Tacoma, Washington. Leading scorer for the Thunderbolts, 21 points. Also leads the team in assists with three a game. David Simmental, the hometown product, six foot two sophomore out of Pueblo West High School. 13 and a half points, three rebounds a game. Deshaun Cooper, six foot nine freshman out of San Diego, California, nine points, two and a half rebounds a game. Also leads the team in block shots. Alex Reed, the uh, D1 transfer, played out of the Citadel. He's from Raleigh, North Carolina. He's a six foot three senior, eight points, two and a half rebounds a game. And Tristan Hurdle, six foot five freshman out of Highlands Ranch High School in Highlands Ranch, Colorado, two and a half points, two and a half rebounds a game. The head coach Matt Hammer in his second season at the helm. They dim the lights here at Masari Arena, the new video board that uh, went into action last January. And uh, people that I'm very close to, the Center for New Media at PCC, they come in, they run all the cameras, and you're getting a, a little bit better uh, look this year on the stretch internet with the two camera feed plus a sideline look as well. We'll set the officials for tonight's game when we get the chance. I got to get the rest of my stuff in order. I used one, uh, you people watching on uh, Facebook Live there see me getting all my stuff in order here. Thunderwolves in their home white, red numerals. 
Blue trim, Westminster in the road gold. Dark blue numerals, white trim. Thunderbolts control the tap. It'll be Trey Brown. Thunderbolts move it left to right as we look at it here. We're high atop Masari Arena this year. We're not courtside because of the COVID epidemic. Hope to get back courtside at some point this year. We'll see. Here's the ball down on the block. Cooper backs his way in right hand. Hook missed it. And rebound on the baseline. Picked up there by Willardson for the Griffins. Gets the outlet pass ahead. Kitzman gets the start here for the Griffins. I did have him in my starting lineup originally, so that's his first start of the year. He has the ball, curls around a screen in from the right. Shot blocked by uh, Sanchez and the rebound to Simmental. Simmental on the fly, kicks it right side to Brown. Brown moves in, pulls up, free throw line, jumper, swish. Trey Brown, that's what he can give you. He's good outside, he's good in the mid-range, he's a good distributor. He's everything you'd want in a point guard. Except that he's a little vertically challenged at 6'2". You'd love him if he was 6'4", but we'll take it. Here's the ball on the wing. Torbert with it. Hands it on the left side to Willardson. Willardson to Torbert coming around a curl screen, but Brown has him. Now hands it up top to Andrews. He backs his way in, goes up, and missed the banker. Back, tapped outside and picked up there by the Thunderwolves. As Hurdle has it. Gets it to Brown. Now to Sanchez. Oh, it's big time collision. Traveling called on Sanchez as he plowed in. To Matt Kitzman, they called Sanchez for the walk. If he hadn't been called for walking, he might have been called for charging just because of the physical punishment he inflicted on Kitzman. Kitzman now on the right wing, hands the ball off to Torbert. Torbert, they come across court now to Andrews. Andrews hands it off to Banks. Banks drives into the paint, fakes, wheels, spades, and hits. First bucket of the game for the Griffins. Ties the game up at two apiece. Ball on the right side. Simmons all with it. Skips across court to Hurdle. Hurdle now to Cooper. Cooper. Ball knocked away and it's loose on deck. There's going to be a foul on the Griffins there as Brown had the ball and they're going to call the foul on Torbert. They do have the fake crowd noise pumped in here to Masari. We uh, talked about it when we were on the road, thought how silly that was. Well, they didn't listen to my broadcast evidently because they're gonna go with the sillinesses here too. Ball out top is Hurdle. Here's Hurdle working around a screen and he has the ball knocked free and stolen. Loose play there by the Thunderwolves. Here's Kitzman back the other way, goes right side. Torbert's wide open three pointer. In and out, won't go. Rebound loose, goes out of bounds. Last touch by Sanchez. So sure about that. Matt Hammer lets his opinion be known. Inbounds pass lobbed way outside to Banks. Two to two our score. We played a little over two minutes here of the first half. Here curling around the screen is Andrews. He's at the free throw line. Lobs it underneath. Ball knocked free, but he regains. Goes up. Shot. No. Tap try. No good. Rebound to Willardson. And the Griffins will start over again here. Thunderbolts have been out rebounded by 10 a game here so far in this early going. Here's a running right hand teardrop up and in by Torbert. Four to two. First lead of the game for the Griffins. Here's the ball on the left side to Brown. Now to Hurdle. Can't get that three off. Now goes to Simmental. Simmental bumped. Now works around a screen. Down the lane, trying to get some space. Hands the ball off to Cooper. He won't take the free throw line jumper. Goes to Simmental, back to Cooper. Eight on the shot clock. Outside three-pointer on the way by Hurdle off the back iron. It won't go, and the rebound underneath the banks. Gets the outlet pass ahead now to Kitzman. Kitzman across the timeline. Dribbles to the free throw line. Now pulls up, little running right hand hook. No good, rebound to Sanchez underneath. Outlet pass to Simmental. Left side to Sanchez. Sanchez hands it off to Hurdle. Hurdle works around a screen to the free line. He'll pull up for the jumper. It's good. Tristan Hurdle ties the game up at four apiece. I really like this kid's game. The freshman out of Highlands Ranch. I think he has a chance to be something special. Here's Torbert. Works around a screen. Pulls up. Teardrop drew the foul. He sold it well by doing the uh, snow angel in the air. Foul on Trey Brown. Trey Brown says, are you going to buy that? The guy just flails his arms out, act like he got hit. That's what Trey Brown's saying. I think he did foul him. There 
there's just a lot of embellishment. Free throw no good by Torberties. Only two for four on this young season from the free throw line. Westminster as a team only shoots 61% from the line this year. They only average nine makes a game. That's very unusual to make that few of free throws in a game. But they don't foul a lot either. Their opponent's only making eight and a half free throws a game. So we could be out of here in a hurry. Into the ball game now for the Thunderbolts. Jaden Bowles gets it to Hurdle. Hurdle curls around a screen, pulls up. 18-footer left, it's short. Tap try, no foul on the Thunderbolts, and it'll be Cooper going over the back, picking up the foul. Timeout on the court. 15.57 to go here in the first half. Griffins lead it 5-4. to four. Thunderbolts basketball on Fox Sports Pueblo. And welcome back to Masari Arena, 5-4, to four, Griffin's on top. I'm just kind of scrolling through some of the uh, comments here. Most of them are Benny Bash telling me to go. You're on, you're on. No, he's not being that rude. He's just, he's telling me, Jim, you got to go. But I, I do see Amanda Watts checking in. The, uh, her daughter, of course, Kansas Watts. Uh, yes, I think Tommy did say that in the post-game interview. I'll just do a little closed-circuit answering of her question there. If you have a comment or question during the broadcast, you're watching the game on Facebook Live or watching me do the game on Facebook Live, you can do that. Here's a three-pointer on the way by Torbert. No good. Rebound underneath the Bulls for the Thunderwolves. Jaden will bring it across the timeline. He's sporting the, uh, I don't know what color you call those shoes, kind of a wild orange. Here is Hurdle up top. Simmental dribbles around the screen, in from left, up and under, shot blocked, out of bounds. That was last touch by Simmental, went off his thigh, out of bounds. Taylor Miller checks into the ball game. He had started the first four games of the year for Westminster. Didn't get the start tonight as they put Kitzman in, but now he's in there. Ball on the left side, here is Kitzman with it. Goes down on the block to Willerton. He backs his way in, fakes, goes up. Shot was partially blocked and rebound. And the Thunderbolts, a foul going over the back. Well, I thought that was going to be one of those late whistles where they called the foul on Cooper on the shot. I go, come on, that is takes late to a new level. But it's a foul going over the back on the rebound on Joey Roberts for the Griffins. It's 5-4. to four. Westminster leads it. Thunderbolts plagued by slow starts offensively in their two RMAC games so far this year. They had a good start against CSU the other afternoon. Here's a foul away from the ball. Legal screen on the Thunderbolts, I believe, or three seconds maybe. No, it is a foul, and that's going to be foul number two on Cooper, and that's what the young freshman has got to watch out for is those fouls away from the ball. Legal screen. I think there should be a change in college basketball. An illegal screen should not be a personal foul. That's just the way I, I just I just feel that way. And they say, well, what would be the incentive not to set illegal screens? Well, I think it's too much, too damaging. Here's a travel on the baseline on Andrews. It's too big a punishment in my view. Turnover should be enough of a punishment on an illegal screen. 
And then call all of them. Because sometimes you don't end up calling all of them because you know it's going to put another foul on a guy. Call the illegal screen. Just make it a turnover, like a traveling call. Don't make it a personal foul. That's the way I think it should be. Here is Brown on the right wing. Up top, Lafayette into the game now for the Thunderwolves. Hands it off. Another new player into the play, Ramiro with it. Down to Lafayette on the block. He's going to back his way into the paint. Left hand hook is up, left it short. And the rebound to Andrews. Andrews hits the outlet pass to Pittsman into the corner. Faking now driving the baseline is Banks, and he banks it in. Banks has four. It's seven to four. Biggest lead of the early going here for the Griffins. Here's Ramiro. Lobs it in the corner of the Bulls. He fakes the three-pointer, drives in, fakes, can't get the shot off. Now comes outside to Sanchez, up top to Ramiro. Right side to Brown. Brown looking for a screen. Now he'll drive the baseline. Comes back to Lafayette. He's open. Three ball on the way. Off the back iron. Goes over the top of the backboard. Lafayette, he struggled mightily against Adams State. A little bit better against UCCS. Played pretty good against CSU in the exhibition game. He's a Division I transfer. Went to Louisiana Lafayette. Just like his name. Here's Brian Hal, bruiser into the ball game, misses the shot in the lane. We talked about the City League earlier. He looks like a City League prototype. It's about the age of 30 out there. He's balding. Ball out top to Sanchez. He drives in, goes up with a shot. Good and a foul. It'll count. He forced it up off the iron and glass, and it went in, and he draws the foul on Brian Hal. Brian Hall, he's from one of my favorite places on this earth, Wilmington, North Carolina. I love it. I've been there about a uh, half dozen times now on vacation there in Riceville Beach. People have asked me where else would you want to be if it wasn't in Colorado. I said, you got it, Riceville Beach. That's where I want to be. Right where the hurricanes hit every year. That's all right. Here's a drive to the hoop. Running right-hander up and in by Isaiah Banks. He has six. And it's nine to six. Thunderwolves are down by three. Here's Bowles with it up top to Lafayette. Goes back there. Nice dish stuff by Trey Brown. Trey Brown showing he can get up. Stuffs it home with two hands. Here's Banks onto the right side. Into the hands of Johnson, who's into the game. This is Braden Johnson, junior out of Draper, Utah. He's like everybody's a junior or a senior for Westminster. That's just the way it goes. The guys that play anyway. Here's a drive-in little pick and roll play. Shot up. Good enough. No, they're going to call traveling on Brian Howell. That looked like a pretty good move. And Norm Parrish up off the bench. A little irate. Has to readjust the mask like I'm doing right now. 9-8. Thunderbolts could get the lead on this trip. Here's Trey Brown. A little... Move underneath the hoop, lobs it outside. Ramiro's open for three. It's off the iron, no good. Rebound goes out of bounds. Boy, you expect every time Lee and Romero casts off, I expect it to go in. He's out of Grandview High School in Aurora. Ball outside. Banks going to fire for three. It's no good. Rebound to Romero underneath. Romero brings it across the timeline, on the fly, on the right wing, hands it off to Lafayette, drives into the paint, and he lost control of the ball, turned it over. Back the other way comes Miller, back pass, moving in, Blackner up top. Bad pass, but almost thrown away, but somehow handled there by Miller. Goes right side, now into the hands of Banks. Banks curls around a screen into the paint, fake, tried to go back door and threw it away. But it went off the foot of Jaden Bowles out of bounds. Play is a little sketchy right now. 11.36 to go here in the first half. Westminster leads it 9-8 on Fox Sports Pueblo.
And welcome back to Masari Arena. Tanya Simmental checking in. I'm not watching the stream, but I will check here and see what it looks like on my computer. If I can figure out which screen I got it on. I don't know where I have it. I'll find it. Inbounds pass knocked away. It'll stay with the Griffins. Looks pretty clear to me. I don't know. Inbounds pass lobbed into the backcourt, and that's where the Griffins will get it. And now watch, and I can see what you mean. It, it looks like somebody smeared a little Vaseline on the camera lens. Is that what you're saying? Here's a scoop shot up, no good. Whistle foul on the Griffins. So we're doing it all here. We're doing a radio broadcast using our Facebook Live audio. We're on stretch internet. Got a lot of different things working here. Back to the game. Here's Brown, dribbles around a screen, comes up top to Lafayette, fakes the three, drives into the paint, tried to go back door, threw it away. Bad pass. A lot of careless play by both teams so far in this game. Here's a pull up three pointer by Miller, good. You just get the feeling the way the game is going right now, one of these teams is gonna catch a little fire and roll out to about a 10 point lead here. Here's Brown and right now the Griffins have the upper hand on that because they're up by four already. Here's Bowles, pulls up free throw line jumper. That was a force, but he banked it in. Jaden will take it. We'll see if that gets him going offensively this year. 12 to 10, Griffins on top. Here's Blackner, dribbles around the screen, cut off there, goes down underneath. Three seconds, anybody? Reverse shot up, good on a foul. It'll be on Lafayette. Braden Johnson camped out underneath. Finally got the ball up off the glass and draws the foul and a chance for the three-point play here. Well, we mentioned it in the women's game earlier this evening. CSU Pueblo got called for three seconds twice in the first quarter. You just don't see it called anymore. And that was a perfect example of it. Free throw, oh, it's almost an air ball on the free throw. No good, so Thunderbolt's ball here. They trail it by four, 14 to 10. Romero with it, dribbles around a screen to the free throw line, pulls up into the corner, bowls open. Three pointer on the way, that's way off the mark, an air ball. Rebound out of bounds, last touch by Sanchez, it'll belong to the Griffins. Simmental into the game and Brown will come out. Trying to massage Brown through this first half. He has that one foul. You don't want him to pick up that second here. Griffins with it. They go down low, turning. Andrews banks it in. 16 to 10, biggest lead of the early going here. Here's Bowles, hands it off to Simmental. Simmental works around a screen, up top to Sanchez. Sanchez drives into the paint. He lost control of the ball. Sloppy play, back the other way. Banks missed it. He went up for the layup and just lost it. Not sure what happened there, if he was just gonna try to dunk it or he couldn't decide whether to dunk it or lay it in. He ended up just losing it out of bounds. And he gets a ticket out of the game after that play. He walks over to the water cooler. Here's Ramiro. Works around a screen, a legal screen there by Sanchez. He put the shoulder right into the chops of Taylor Miller. That was an easy call. Griffin's up by six here with 9.24 to go in the first half. Here's Miller with it into the corner. This is Blackner with it, now to Miller. High post to Torbert, down low underneath, spinning going up, a little extra step by Andrews and he lays it in. Andrews has four, it's 18 to 10. And here's Ramiro handing it off to Simmental. Simmental, left side, three pointer on the way by Hurdle, no good. Nobody there for the rebound for the Thunderwolves, it's batted outside, belongs to the Griffins. On the 
left side. Miller with it. He'll jack one up for three. It's no good. Rebound to Romero. Romero across the timeline. Fires it ahead to Bowles. Bowles up top. Wide open. Hurdle for three. Need this one. Missed it. Sanchez tap. No good. And back the other way come the Griffins. Here's Torbert with it. Three-pointer on the way by Miller. It's good. Just what I feared, folks. The Thunderbolts just playing so sloppy that sooner or later the Griffins are going to catch fire, and that's what they've done here, and they've opened up an 11-point lead. It's 21 to 10, 8.23 to go in the first half on Fox Sports Pueblo. And welcome back to Masari Arena. You know, the, the, the more I'm watching this live stream feed, it just does look a little off. What's going on there? Could be the bandwidth problem. They were having problems. Folks, they've had problems with their internet all day here. Here at the arena. They, they got us firewalled out. I know they were struggling with the uh, stretch people getting things working. Here's Lafayette outside. Backs his way into the paint. Here's a jump hook on the way. It's good. Lafayette was determined to get that one off, off the uh, iron and in. 21 to 12. Much needed there for the pack. Ball on the right side. Banks with it. Now to Kitzman. To Torbert. He's cut off. Oh, wide open. Missed the layup and the rebound to Brown. How in the world did Andrews miss that one? That's when you wake up in the middle of the night in a cold sweat when you relive that one. Here's Brown on the left wing, up top to Lafayette, right side to Ramiro. Ramiro. I, of course, not that opportunity in basketball, but I relate that to missing a putt. Here's Simmental, free throw line jumper good. Simmental, he's always patient. He lets the game come to him. Finally got an opening and he buries it, 21 to 14. Ball on the right side. Here's Torbert. Dips into the lane, bad pass, and he throws it away. That was just careless. We've seen it on both teams so far in this game. This has been a sloppy, sloppy game to this point. So what that tells you, if you just eliminate the sloppiness, the game's there for the taking. Here's Ramiro on the left wing. Goes left side to Brown. Now to Gager. Gager into the ball game. He's the London connection for the Thunderbolts. Ball left side to Brown. Brown. Down to Lafayette. Back to Brown. He's going to jack one up from downtown. It's no good. He had an itchy trigger finger there. Back come the Griffins. Here is Kitzman. Goes right side to Torbert. Torbert. Now to Willardson. Willardson hands it off to Banks. Banks into the paint. Now backs out of there. A little stop and go move. Into the corner, wide open, three-pointer by Kitzman. Missed it. And good position for the rebound by Brown as he walled off Andrews underneath the paint. Brown, oh, a little give and go move to Lafayette. He's wide open, got to take that shot, but he missed it from point-blank range. Oh, do you sense my frustration? Ball on the right side, they go down low. Here's Banks, and he gets the shot up off the glass. Missed it, gets his own rebound. Shot blocked by Lafayette. Ball into the backcourt. Where's the referee to see the backcourt? Nobody was there to see it. 
Ah. Here's Banks, pulls up, banks it up, no good. Rebound to the Griffins, three-pointer on the way, but you know what's going. He missed it, though. Rebound to Romero. Romero back the other way for the Thunderwolves. And they dodged a bullet there, and all the things that happened on that possession. Here's the drive-in, pull-up, Simmental shot blocked. And the rebound underneath to Willardson. Andrews got a piece of that shot by Simmental. Here's Willardson on to the left side to Banks. Banks holds it, now to Torbert. Torbert dribbles around the screen, cut off, hands the ball off. Willardson, free throw line jumper, he banks it in. So the bank is open on both ends, as that was a carbon copy to the shot Jaden Bowles hit when he banked it in. You never try to bank one in from the free throw line extended. Ball on the right side, Simmental to Romero. He wanted to fire, but couldn't get it off. Drives into the paint, goes to Lafayette. He will cast off, no good. Rebound to Andrews. Back the other way, Kitzman with a nice dish underneath layup, good. Willardson with four. 25 to 14, Thunderbolt's down 11. This is the biggest deficit they've faced in the game. 4.20 to go here in the first half. And again, the Thunderbolt's struggling to score the ball in our MAC competition. They put up 42 in the game the other night against CSU. Here's a three-pointer by Gager. Not the guy you really expect to shoot threes. Missed it. And all Matt Hammer can do is stand with his hands on his hips on the sideline wondering what is going on out here. Here's Banks, top to Willardson. Gives it off to Kitzman. Backdoor feed, nice dish, shot up, missed it. Rebound to Gager again. Andrews missing from point blank range. Here's Simmental, gotta make him pay for that miss. Here's Gager, left side to Romero. Romero, he'll cast one off, in and out, no good. Shooting. Cold shooting in particular is contagious, man. Everybody missing, you just, it, everybody misses. It just keeps growing that way. Ball knocked away and stolen by the Thunderwolves. Great play there by Brown. Here comes Ramiro, onto the right side. Little hesitation move, lobs it outside to Lafayette. Now to Ramiro, to Simmental. Swing it left side to Brown, in the corner. He's gonna drive the baseline, cut off there. Spins, wheels, keeps the dribble alive. Goes up in the paint, teardrop up, no good. Rebound in the corner, belongs to Andrews. Here come the Griffins, now they're gonna slow things down. Hand the ball outside to Torbert. Gives it off to Kitzman, to Willardson. Probing, left side, Kitzman with it. Drives into the paint, he's in, layup good. Kitzman's first bucket of the game, timeout, Thunderwolves. 2.29 to go here in the first half. Thunderwolves trail at 27 to 14 on Fox Sports Pueblo. I'm gonna take a chance and say we're back. <laughs> I kinda daydream in there. 
27 to 14. Thunderwolves down by 13 here. I could sense this coming. When the game was going back and forth, and when it was 9 to 8, and both teams were sloppy as could be, the, somebody was going to right the ship. And so far, it's been Westminster that's righted the ship. Thunderwolves still struggling. Here's Hurdle. Holding foul outside on the Griffins. Foul will be on Blackner. Branson Blackner. I think that's my very first in all my years of doing basketball, my first Branson as a first name. So congratulations, Branson. Here's Hurdle. Into the corner. Wide open. Simmons Hall for three. Missed it. You know there's a lid on the basket when Simmental is missing open shots like that. Thunderwolves on our home court. Norm Parrish, irate, wants that overruled here. Come on, Norm, you got to know your geography. When all else fails, if you don't see it, you point to the home team's way. That's the, that's, that's the way to do it. Sanchez in the corner to Brown. Now it's Simmental. Simmental tries to use the screen. They fight through it, though. Now to Brown. Shot clock's at eight. Brown drives into the paint, goes up, and he drew the foul. Question is, does he get two shots here? He was trying to get the shot off. Two shots. Foul called on Taylor Miller. Fake crowd noise in the background. Do they do they lower it when you're shooting free throws to make it realistic? No, you just it's just on a loop. Free throw up and good by Trey Brown. Are they using this fake crowd noise stuff in the big time games? I haven't watched a lot of uh, college basketball on Saturday afternoons yet. Haven't been on the road enough to where I, you know, sit there and watch games. Free throw line, here is Andrews. Spins his way, it looks like he traveled with it. Yeah, sooner or later, I think the officials were so stunned that he traveled with it, it took him a half second to call it. Inbounds pass to Brown. Brown walks it across the timeline. Left side to Sanchez, now to Simmental. And illegal screen on Sanchez. That's his second personal foul. And both his fouls tonight are on illegal screens. Thunderwolves with 12 turnovers here in the first half. They average only 11 a game, so they're already over their average. Just careless. Miller. And it's not like Westminster's out there pressuring him and pressing all over the place. It's just self-inflicted turnovers here by the pack. Curling around a screen. Here's Kitzman. Comes outside to Miller. Jump stop. Oh, a hop. And he <laughs> powered the layup. No good. Who's going to get a rebound for the Thunderwolves? Gager does. Gets it to Brown. Brown ahead now. Right side to Hurdle. Now to Gager. Left side to Bowles. Bowles moves in. He's cut off. Gets rid of it to Gager. Now, man, look at Norm Parrish. About blew a gasket over there. Up top to Gager. Right side to Brown. Fakes. Now he'll pop for three. It's no good. And the rebound to Kitzman. Kitzman on the fly. Into the corner to Banks. Last shot opportunity here for Westminster. Thunderwolves on a pace to score 32 tonight on their home court. That just never gets it done. Here's Kitzman and a legal screen. Or no, this is an offensive foul down on the uh, man trying to get position down on the block. That was and or not Andrews, it was uh, Willardson trying to get position down on the block. He hooked his man. So Thunderwolves with six seconds to go here. Fake crowd in a frenzy. And bounce pass for Romero. 
Miro brings it across the timeline. Top of the key, one second to go, got a launch, he does, and it's no good at the buzzer.